Targeting people allows you to define where your staff and volunteers should focus their attention to create meaningful interactions. By filtering people in your database, you can create a precise game plan for accomplishing your goals. Creating filters. In the People section of your control panel, you'll click on the Filter button to begin defining the people you want to target. In the first drop-down menu, you can choose between any or all of the criteria you set. An Any filter will show people who match criteria 1 or criteria 2 or criteria 3. An All filter will show people who match criteria 1 and criteria 2 and criteria 3. It is the smallest possible universe of people who match the criteria you choose. You can also create a filter that combines any and all criteria by adding a group row. A great way to start your filter is to craft a sentence about who you want to find, then build that sentence using available criteria. Click on Add Criteria. A drop-down menu appears. You can search for a field by typing in the box at the top, or you can click through the filter categories to find specific criteria. Many of these categories are available in all nations, but some are feature-specific. For example, I want to target people whose point person is Joel Lin and are on an overdue step. Here's the criteria I add. Alternatively, if I want to target people whose point person is Jolyn, Jason, or Jane, and are on an overdue step, I'll need to add a group row. Click Add Group Row to connect the criteria. When you add a group row, the criteria box will pop up underneath the filter criteria you're connecting it to. When you're creating a filter, you can click the X at the end of the row to delete it without losing the entire filter. The options to filter, save filter, or export only appear after you completely define a row of criteria. When you click the filter button, the people who match your criteria are displayed in the lower portion of the screen. Once you click the filter button, you'll have the option to save the filter. Click Save Filter As to find the people who currently match your criteria at a later point in time. In the People section, you can access the Save Filter drop-down menu by clicking on the arrow next to the filter button. A menu will display listing all saved filters. Hover over and click Edit next to your selected filter to edit or delete the filter. By editing the settings of a saved filter, you can add a tag to people who match filter criteria. Tags added via filter are unique. They will automatically be removed from profiles that no longer match the filter criteria. Click the Delete Filter button in the bottom right corner of the settings screen to delete the saved filter. You can also save the people currently found using the filter as a list by clicking on the Actions menu and selecting Add All to List. This will add everyone who matches your filter to a list. Remember that lists are meant to be used at a particular point in time to reach out to people or perform batch updates. Note, a control panel user who can only view assigned people will only be able to filter within those assigned people. Similarly, only people with access to your financial information can filter using the customer history and donor history categories. Export a filter. You can also export the people found by clicking on the Actions menu and selecting Export. If you choose this option, you'll be taken to the Add New Export section of your People database, where you can choose whether you want to export people records, vote history, or household records, if exporting from household view. If you export people, you can customize the fields to be included in your export. Once you complete the settings for your export, you'll be taken to the Past Exports section. It may take a few moments for your export to be available while the filter runs and the system develops a CSV file. To download the file, click on the name of the file. If you click on the filter criteria under search, you'll be taken back to the current results of that filter.